What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saray Karen here and for today's video we are going to be unboxing the Samsung Note 9. Now you guys know how excited I get for a new phone and I'm extra excited for this one just because I have never owned a Note version of Samsung's phones at all. I've always seen them and I've always played with them when I worked at Verizon but I've never actually owned one for myself and got to you know unbox it and play with it. So I'm really excited for this phone. Let me handy nandy new rainbow knife. Let's get it opened up. Satisfying as usual. Oh yes, look at that guys. Sick. Samsung always does packaging really well. I know people always like Apple's packaging because it's all white and shiny and crisp, but Samsung's packaging is sick. Now here we go. Tight. So this is what the box looks like, normal Samsung box, but on the outside, letting you guys know that this is the Note 9, and I did opt for the lavender. I'm not sure what the official name for it is, but it's kind of lavendery pink to me. Guys, look at that. This phone is massive. It looks so good. I say that every time I open up a new phone. Satisfying as usual. Of course, in the box, you get instructions, you get a SIM popper if you need to swap out your SIM card. Just like last time, you get notes from Verizon on how to switch over your information, which is really great. If any of you guys are concerned about switching over your information, Samsung Smart Switch is the way to go. It just makes everything much easier and much faster. Along with the instructions that come in the box, like all phones, look at this premium packaging. Like who put this in there so neatly? All right guys, so you get a charging brick. Why do I always have such problems opening things on camera? You get your charging brick. Of course, the phone is USB type C and it has a headphone jack, which is great. Android users love having that handphone, having that headphone jack. You also get what I can't, I can't open things. You also get your headphones and you also get your cable to connect your phone and that is it guys normally stand normal standard things that you get in a box um i love that you know they did keep the headphone jack i don't think that samsung is going to go away from their headphone jack at all because so many people like it so let's peel that off uh let's go over the specs really quick which are pretty impressive this is the main reason that i think this phone is going to be the best overall everyday use phone it is the most well-rounded smartphone out here on the market right now and you guys can definitely quote me. the phone is 6.4 inches with the super amoled display which you guys can see the super crispy uh infinity screen on here it looks really 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 nice it does come in 128 gigs or 512 gigs the s pen is super cool with that super capacitor that allows you to have your phone away from you for up to 30 minutes and still be able to interact with the phone with the S Pen. I mean, the list goes on. The phone is water resistant up to IP68 standards. So is the S Pen. And I mean, what else can we talk about? Something that I really like about this phone that was announced at the Samsung event in New York was that they announced a water carbon cooling system. And if you're going to be using this phone as a gaming device, then that is going to be a feature that definitely comes in handy. It's just marketed as a feature to keep the phone from overheating while you're doing heavy game usage, which I think for people that are going be playing games on this phone it's going to be a big big advantage so that you're not having your phone overheating in that hour-long session of gaming so i think that's a really cool feature as well that samsung thought to add i feel like they're always thinking of new ways to push the envelope and adding things to their phone that make the price point something that is worth buying so another really cool feature that i like about the phone is definitely going to be the main feature of the phone and it is the s pen I really love the fact that this S Pen is the color of the phone you buy. This is, is pretty big, but 
look at it guys this looks sick i kind of wish that mine had like the yellow s pen i don't even like the color yellow but i think it would have looked really cool but the s pen you can use it as a remote which i think is super cool as well if you want to have your phone and you want to take a picture you can just click on the button right here if my phone is if my camera is gonna zoom in and there guys I'm sorry if you can't see it my camera wouldn't focus but you can use this uh, button on the you can use this button on the S Pen to take a picture. You can use it to start and stop music. Now, the phone is water resistant. The S Pen is water resistant up to IP68 standards. So of course, I think that's really cool that they made the S Pen as well as the phone water resistant. It does have wireless charging, all of the normal bells and whistles that normally Samsung phones do have. The biggest takeaway for me and for you is guys, if you need this phone. Now, a lot of people said on paper that this is barely an upgrade from the Note 8. I disagree. I feel like the phone with the battery capacity alone, 4,000 milliamps of battery, this gorgeous super AMOLED 6.4 inch screen, and then the fact that you do have the new features into the camera. It does have the same dual aperture like the S9 had, and I mean, I feel like overall, if you're gonna keep this phone for two to three years, the Note 9 is the phone to be the one, that is the phone that you should keep for that time. Now, like I mentioned before, guys, the price does come in at $1,000 starting for the 128 gig, and then it goes up, I believe, an extra $250 with the 512 gig. That is up to you guys. Like I always say, I'm not here to push my beliefs on you guys. This is not a sponsored video. Definitely get whatever best suits you. And I really think that's it. I just want to know what do you guys think? I hope this video helped you guys make a decision. If you are someone that has like a S7 or a older Note phone, not the Note 8, but an older Note phone, um, is this something that you think is worth buying? Do you like the S Pen? Like what is, what is your take on it guys? Already this thing is riddled with fingerprints, but that is perfectly fine just because, you know, you can throw a screen protector and you can throw a case on it. So that's not a big deal. But like I said, tell me in the comments, guys, what do you think about the phone? Are you excited to get your hands on one? What do you think about that price point? All flagship phones are kind of getting up there in price starting at $1,000, just like the iPhone 10. Let me know what you guys think. Always, always like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And guys, did you know we are almost at 3,000 subscribers? That is crazy. But for now, this is it. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys had a good time watching it. And I will see you in the next one.